back to my channel my name is Athena and this is Fat Life Unfiltered um no sorry I do not always look this busted in my videos but lately just bear with me peoples bear with me <laughs> I'm literally getting my groundings back <laughs> um along with the emotional roller coaster um I had to get my tooth fixed because I had chipped it um so I had a dentist appointment the other day so now I feel like I'm talking funny because I also got sick over the weekend and actually I think prior to even Thanksgiving I was already getting sick but over the weekend was like the worst part of the hump of it and so now I'm just like barely getting over that um so I've just been coming home throwing my hair up and this is what you get this is what you're getting today and we're gonna do days um 19 and 20 of the emotional eating video diary and hopefully eventually I will get my hair and myself back together <laughs> and I won't look so busted up on these videos um but day 19 is where do I practice forgiveness in my life um, I practice forgiveness with my parents. Um, growing up, I had a rough childhood, <laughs> and um, there were things and times and events that were hard to go through. And looking back, um, I held a lot of grudges and resentment, and I had to finally let it go, literally let it go. Um, I did that a couple of years ago. I'm 35 years old and it took that long for me to even acknowledge or want to do that. Um, the second part of it is where could I give more and I'm thinking it means like more forgiveness. Um, I would have to say forgiveness um, for myself or with my for myself or with myself um, whatever that may entail. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure I just know I am very hard on myself and I need to at some point be able to forgive myself and let some things go. Day 20 is write down this hair. <laughs> write down everything that gives me pleasure and joy. I put getting my hair done, um, new clothes, makeup, time spent with family, which means like my husband, my nephew, my brother, my mom, um, makeup. <laughs> Did I already say that? <laughs> I might have already said that. Um, losing weight. When I do lose weight consistently, um, because it gives you a feel good, you know, and it brings you joy. It's like a sense of accomplishment. Um, and the little things. And I mean, like, a nice day outside, a long walk, listening to, oh, I love oldies. So for me, it's listening to oldies and just reminiscing about things, you know. It really is, though, all about the little things with me. <laughs> Um, I'm not one of the ones that's like, go buy me a $200 purse. Would it be nice? Yes. <laughs> if we could afford it and we could get it, I would love it. Um, but you know what? You come home with my favorite chocolate because you just thought it would put a smile on my face. That brings me joy because what in my life makes me feel alive and energized? And I put feeling like I have a sense of purpose. And lately, I have been reflecting on this because um, I think everyone wants that. And I think that's what keeps a lot of people going, to wake up feeling like you have a purpose. And when you feel like you have a purpose, you feel like you are valuable. Um, I place my value in myself very low sometimes. And I'm kind of trying to figure out ways to up that, you know and place more value into myself. So waking up feeling like I have a sense of purpose, like doing my video, coming onto my channel, or looking forward to people, or I think people are looking forward to interacting with me for the day, or I have a worth and I have a purpose. And I am slowly figuring that one out and I am trying to work on that, but that is what keeps me energized. That is it for today, so I'm going to end it there. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, share, and comment. It is greatly appreciated. Until next time, thanks for watching.